Welcome guys to another uh, RC Ninja Studios video. Uh, we're going to do a redo of a previous video on basic soldering techniques. Uh, mainly just to get you by. It's not going to be anything too in depth. Uh, just really for soldering motors and soldering wires back on and doing things like that. So, to start with, basic soldering set. A set of helping hands, soldering iron, various screwdrivers, uh, you've got mini long nose pliers, a pair of nail clippers which really helps and a lighter as you can see which we'll discuss later in the video. Uh, the solder itself is lead free and it's flux cord that means there's a, a centre core of flux going through the solder so you don't need to pre-flux any joints or wires. Uh, you can see we've got the helping hands. This one happens to have a magnifying glass on the top. Very useful piece of kit. Saves you burning your fingers. Which, trust me, I've done many times and it, it you do get slightly fed up of it. And the soldering iron. Basic run of the mill, nothing fancy. There's no electronically controlled temperature on it or anything like that, which to be honest, I don't think you need unless you're doing really small electronic work. Uh, try and get it in shot. As you can see, just 30 watt, nothing more. It doesn't need anything, anything more. We probably melt wires and things like that. You, it can be a little bit big for small wires. It, it does tend to melt the um, PVC round them. But for general RC work, perfect. So, we'll get on to a little bit of demonstrating how to solder. So, first thing we're going to do is actually make sure the tip of the soldering iron is clean. See if we can get it to focus in there. As you can see, when you first, when you warm up your solder iron, it's not going to be the cleanest tip. So just get one of these diamond file type things. Just a few strokes, just to make sure that you're going to have a good soldering surface for the solder to actually go on to. And then just a little bit of solder, both sides, just so it's cleaned up and then just take the excess solder off. And first thing we're going to do is tin a wire. So what you have to do, just place the solder iron on the wire first, then introduce solder. And as you can see the solder will run down the wire. And they have a tinned wire. Now there's more on there than you actually need. It, it's just where I do things because what I'm going to show you next is actually wiring, uh, soldering onto a motor so you're going to need that little bit extra solder on your wire just so it adheres to your motor a little bit better. Right, so here's what we're going to be soldering to. It's an old Team Orion Pilot 11 turn motor. It's nothing special, just a modified stock motor so you, you can't alter the timing. And we're going to solder on the wire rather than to the lugs. Now what you have to remember with motors is the entire metal part here will act as what they call a heat sink and what that does even though you're soldering there the heat will transfer across into all this because it acts as a way of cooling the motor when it's running so you will have to leave your soldering iron on a little bit longer than what you would say a, a circuit board 
or a wire and this is why you need a slightly higher soldering iron uh, main thing you've got to remember make sure that your contacts are clean free from any grease because that will just slow you down really so well, next step we'll be soldering the wire on So again, introduce your soldering iron to what you're soldering, that's when it doesn't move. Just leave it on a few seconds so it heats up the area. And introduce your solder and what you're looking for is the solder to spread across the contact like it is doing there in a nice uniform way get your pre-soldered uh, pre-tinned wire introduce it in just wait for everything to solder across remove your soldering iron And there you have one soldered wire. Now I know some of you will be saying, no, oh, that wire is way too thin. It's just for demonstration purposes only, just really to show you how to do basic soldering. You will of course use a bigger gauge wire, uh, probably silicon coated, things like that, just so it doesn't melt when the you really want running your motors. And that's basically soldering. Not rocket science, there's nothing to fear. Uh, I will show you one little extra which is what the lighter was for and we'll be dealing with this which is heat shrink um, yeah heat shrink basically what it is really, heat shrink wrap, just cut a bit off and this is mainly just to make it look tidy now if you're doing this on a uh, speed controller make sure you put the heat shrink on first it's an easy mistake to do even I make it and it, it's, you do feel a bit stupid when you, you think oh I've got to unsolder that and resolder it And you just slip it over like that and you get your lighter and gently heat it up. It doesn't need a lot of heat. Because if you add too much heat it will actually burn the heat shrink. And that's basically it. Makes it look nice and tidy. Protects your soldering. And it looks a slightly more professional job. So like that's it guys, that's it really. That's soldering as at its basic as what you actually need. I say you don't need a really high tech soldering iron, you don't need high tech equipment best piece of kit that you will get is your helping hands these are invaluable because they're trying to solder a wire hold your soldering iron and feed soldering in you need that extra little bit of felt to do it because you will burn your fingers and trust me I've done it quite a few times so that's it guys thanks for watching please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and up see you again on the next video <laughs>